right, thanks for tuning in to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use uh, the weld feature in Lightburn. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. I hope that you find this video useful. Continue to like and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. With that being said, let's, uh, let's get into it. So the first step here is to pull up Lightburn. I'm going to get that all set up here. Um, well, that's loading. Um, I am testing out a new mic tonight, so if the audio does seem choppy, uh, leave your comments below. Um, we got Lightburn set up. So, welding texts. This is useful for um, making one text in uh, a single cut or being able to um, convert words into one image. So there's a couple quick ways to do this. The easiest way to do this is just by choosing, um, let's get some test text on the, on the um, screen here. So we'll, we'll use this. The easiest way to weld these things together, and what I mean by that is, um, using a cursive cursive ish font they tend to work the best and what i'll show you here is you can kind of see how the x and t are um they're one unit if i turn this welding feature off they are separate units now this does seem to work okay it is kind of hit or miss and there does it, it does take some playing around with the easiest way I have found to do this with any text, um, let's just go back here. I'll make sure welding's turned off. Let's just use this one. As you can see, all of this is not together. If I were to go to cut these out, they would cut out individually. We want these to work. We want these to be welded together uh, when we cut these. So. The easiest way that I do this is um, we'll just turn this welding button off for right now. Highlight everything. Um, click on this middle dot here and click convert to path. Now I can click off of this. As you see now, each one of these letters with um, the E's in this example, everything is its own unit. So in order to do that, um, let's say here, I'll just throw some other um, throw some other letters on here that would have it like a B. Um, what else? An A. Okay, that that explains it. Or like an O. Um, they're all going to have multiple segments here. So I'm going to do what I just did before, and I'm going to convert this to text as well or convert this to path. With that now, as you can see, as I move it, they are separate. So on all of the letters that are separate like this, you will not need to do it for your T's, your S's, your L's, um, your, your C's, any of that kind of stuff. But any of the letters that are separate, you are gonna then want to highlight and group. So now, I'm just gonna fly through that quick. And the reason we do this is um, when we go to move these together um, and then weld them, I will show you at the end. So I have all of these highlighted and grouped. Now I can move these letters individually wherever I want on the screen. It gives us a little bit more freedom. It allows us to weld any text together. And the key to welding everything is making sure that there is a little bit of overlap. So let's let's see how we got the E overlapped here. Gives you a little bit of freedom. There is plenty of overlap there when we get to, oh, I don't know what's going on here. Technical difficulties. When we get to everything else, um, it allows you to be a little bit free you could put like the s here if you wanted to so if you're doing something diagonally or whatever um i like to generally just kind of keep them in per se in line with minimal overlap and 
use this a lot for signs or um, maybe cards or things of, of that nature. So I'm just going to kind of highlight these all, get these all overlapped here to the best of my ability. And then, okay, we got a little bit of overlap on each one of these now. And do it here as well, just to kind of speed things up. So now the next step is to, we're gonna highlight these all, each, each individual segment. And I am going to align these horizontally on the bottom. What that does, make sure that these are, you don't have to do this. I prefer to do this. It'll kind of let you see where everything is. So I didn't really like how that T was looking. So I am going to redo these. And I am going to horizontally align these on the bottom. Okay, do that with the rest of these here. The reason we're horizontally aligning these on the bottom, not the center, is um, now they'll be flush. The, the top of the letters and the bottom of the letters will, will uh, be even. And that's basically it. The key is to make sure it's overlapped. Make sure you like how they're kind of placed. And then the last step is super easy. Um, there's a little button over here on Lightburn. If you follow my cursor, um, it will weld these all together. So now when I go here, I'll show you how to do these all, weld these all as one. Um, when I go to cut these out for a sign or whatever, they're all going to be one piece and that way you're not trying to line up text after you are done with, with a project. It's just easier to keep them all as one piece. Now, you can keep playing with this. You can change the fonts. Um, like I said, cursive fonts generally do work best. But there you have it. That's how you weld, weld uh, text in Lightburn. Super um, valuable for creating, creating signs and designs and logos, anything of that nature. Thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you like the video or if you have any comments, please leave them below. And also, uh, uh, please don't hesitate to subscribe. I'll keep making these videos. Thank you.